What is up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of In 10 Minutes. Today guys, we're gonna be working on refined storage. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll know the base of the mod and be able to build your own network. So let us begin. All right guys, just a little disclaimer for the rest of the video. I'm going to assume that you all have NEI installed since most modern mod packs do. But without any further ado, let's go. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to craft is the controller. This is going to be the core of our network. It accepts power from any side, from any mod and it will convert it into FE or Forge Energy. Uh, however, if you have two of these on the same network, this is a full controller. Uh, if you have two of these on the same network, it will break the first one, so just be forewarned. All right, since we have our controller here and since everything will be connecting to this controller one way or another, the first thing we're gonna wanna make is a disk drive. Now the disk drive here uh, can be connected just to the side of it, doesn't need to have a cable between it. So if you click into here, you can see that it will hold up to eight disks and we can set the priority so that if uh, any items come into the system, uh, they can be sent immediately to the disk storage. All right, so the next step in building our network is the disks themselves and as you can see here we do have a 1k storage part now this will be a crafting part in our 1k storage disk and this will hold all of our items digitally on our uh, our network here and as you can see we can see it here it's it's pulling one fe per tick and can store the other ones as well so this is a 4k this is a 16k and a 64k obviously the bigger the number the more storage it has so i will show you here and it says that we now have a 65K available. And this is how, uh, this is where all of our items will be stored, obviously in digital form. All right, so if the storage disk is a 1K storage disk, it obviously holds 1,000 items. If it's a 64K storage disk, it will hold 64,000 items. Just wanted to clarify that. So the fourth step in building our network is going to be having an interface for all of our items. Now the grid here is a great tool to have because it allows you to obviously interact with it. So as you can see, we have 256 blocks of gold and 256 blocks of diamond. You can take these out, put them in, shift click them out, shift click them in. And this will hold a ton of various different items as well. Even items that do not stack it will stack together, say swords, uh, that have enchantments on them and a certain durability, it will stack those two together as long as they match. Okay, so there is item storage in refined storage and there's also liquid storage in refined storage, if that makes any sense. Uh, what it is, is you basically craft up these uh, fluid storage parts and these are made almost identically to how the item ones are. And you can also craft them up into the storage disks. Now, if we come over here, it does, it does seem a little bit different because it says 64K. Now, it doesn't start off, you know, it doesn't go like much bigger than uh, the item ones because fluids are stored in thousand millibuckets. Um, like like one bucket of water is a thousand millibuckets. So this holds 64 uh, buckets of water, if that makes sense. You come over here and you simply just put them into a disk drive, almost identically to how you do with items. And to store liquids, you can't just simply shift click these in here because as you can see, it's throwing the water inside of the bucket. You actually need to make a fluid grid and when you do this, if you shift click in, you'll see it pulls the water straight out of the bucket. Now with importers and exporters that we'll later be getting into, you can simply take it out of uh, like a drum from another mod or something along the lines of that. But as you can see, it stores it here. If you have the buckets in your inventory, it will put it in. So pretty cool. All right, so say you had some external storage. We're gonna be using storage drawers for this. So say you had another storage system that you've been using for a while. These could even be chests. And you wanna link it up to your system. You'll use an external storage guy, and then you will connect it here. And as you can see, boom, we can see the 192 gas tiers, 192 cactus, 256 redstone. If we break this, it goes away. So it's basically reading what's in here and basically telling our system, hey, you have these items at your disposal. So now for fluid, say you had a drum here filled with lava, as you can see we got lava here, but you wanna get that into your system. If you take an imported, place it on the side here, and put that on that side, it will start to, uh, oh, sorry, you have to set these to fluids, and then it will start to drain out and go into your fluids over here. All right, the same goes for exporting. So this should, it's empty, even though it still looks like it's full. If we put an exporter here, we're gonna to need to take the lava, put it here, which will set that to lava. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up again and it's taking the lava out of here. Very cool. 
All right, so a lot of people know refined storage for being very good at auto crafting. Uh, so first off, we're gonna wanna make a pattern grid like so. Next, you're gonna take your patterns and put them here in this top slot, so the arrow's pointing down. And then you're going to put whatever recipe you want in here, and it's, it's going to transmit it to this pattern. And later on, we can auto craft from it. So here's a pretty simple example. Let's go ahead and make a pattern for hoppers. So as you can see, we need our five basic iron in our chest. If you have them in our system here, it will put them here. And as you can see, this arrow lit up. So let's go ahead and click that. And as you can see, now it says one hopper. So it says the input is five iron ingots and one chest outputs one hopper. Okay, so the next step in our crafting process is getting a crafter here. Uh, if you place it here connecting to the system like so, or you know, you could even put it on a cable like that, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, it has these open slots here. Now, if we put our pattern inside, it now looks like a hopper. If we go back here, hey look, it says craft below this hopper. So let's go over to our, our grid here and make a hopper. So let's make, we'll make 10 of them. It's a crafting preview, it says, hey, we have 10. Uh, we can. We want to make 10 hoppers. We have 10 chests and 50 iron ingots. So let's start. And as you can see, it starts to craft them up. Now, if we want to make this faster, we can go ahead and get some speed upgrades right here. And if we slide them into the right here, it will start to make the auto crafting even faster. And as you can see, the hoppers are now completed. Unfortunately, we probably didn't get those in soon enough, but these speed upgrades can even go into exporters and importers. It will increase the speed at which the importers run at and the exporters are exporting at. Can't really use them in external storage, unfortunately. So refined storage has two forms of crafting. There's internal with a crafter, and then there's external. Say if you want to have an alloy smelter from Ender.io automated. So what you do here is you take the... Uh, pattern grid and you switch it from uh, normal to processing which means you can input whatever over here as you can see we can make it say we want to output uh, conductive iron ingots and then we want to input two of these so these are like custom recipes if you were to think of anything and then we can make our pattern here and as you can see if we put it in our crafter which says alloy smelter here so it's smart enough to tell you hey this is what it's uh, crafting for if we put that in here it will now force two uh, items the redstone and iron into the side of this alloy smelter and then we can export it. So let's have a look here Craft one Boom, there we go. Oh as you can see it is on it's baking up these and now we have conductive iron in here Okay, so say you don't want to have to come all the way back here just to check up on the grid See what you have in here or grab things out of the grid. There's an option for a wireless transmitter and a creative or a wireless grid Sorry, not the creative one if you shift click on your controller with the create or the wireless grid, it will link to it and now you're able to see this from wherever you are. Now unfortunately this one, as you can see, only has a distance of 16 blocks. Now if you take these range upgrades, which you can craft, you can upgrade it to 48. So now we can come all the way over here and check it out. Hey, we're still checking out how many items we got in our system. Very cool, it's very helpful. There are some mods that even allow a, like a wireless crafting grid, which is incredible. You don't even know, need to go back to the grid or crafting grid here to even craft items. But anyways, guys, those are the basics for refined storage. I hope you all did enjoy the video. We are quite a bit short today. I think we had over a minute of spare time left. So it means we're able to get this down pretty quickly. But anyways, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Have fun with refined storage. Bye-bye.